Are you a fan of the classic Space Invaders? Well, there's a game called Doling's Invasion that takes a lot of inspiration from that classic. But should you let this one invade your console now, or is the dough that is this game never gonna rise? Doling's Invasion is very much a Space Invaders inspired game. You move slowly at the bottom, firing a single shot at a time upwards at a slowly moving set of enemies coming slowly and slowly downwards inch by inch, eventually reaching the bottom and taking you out if you're unable to take them out first. The game is set up in levels with different waves. You have to go through 10 waves and face off with a boss to move on to the next level. There's no continues during the waves. You have to go through all of the waves and then, finally, get a checkpoint right before facing the boss at least. The game is a follow-up to Dolan's Arcade that came out last year that was also a Space Invader style game, and while they are very similar, the biggest difference is that this game has difficulty settings, while the other one has a level editor. To aid you are the DNA strains that you get in various levels. By destroying the capsule, they'll drop down and you're able to pick them up. Each one provides a different firing style that can be very useful. One fires diagonally, bouncing bullets off the sides of things to potentially take out aliens, while you have the Cyclops-like laser that is devastating and can really help you turn the tide of fights. Each of these can be upgraded. There's five upgrades for each one of these DNA strains that you end up getting the ability to upgrade by destroying the creatures that fly over top of the level, the bonus enemies, basically. Taking them all out on the stage will give you this DNA that you're able to equate into upgrades, and you are able to upgrade each one of these, and the upgrades carry over. As long as you made it to a checkpoint, you'll be able to have those upgrades going in to the next level. Another way to help you out is the show-off maneuvers. Every time you defeat an enemy, they end up giving you a thumbs-up icon. Collecting enough of these will give you the ability to show off, and these special fires that you can do for a little bit can also really help you out. There's 12 different enemy typings that you'll have to deal with, as well as the bosses. The bosses were honestly the most enjoyable part of the game, some creativeness here, and being able to dodge them like a more traditional shooter was pretty fun. The other styles of enemies that you deal with were pretty average, with most of them just being kind of the same creature you're blasting multiple times. They just fire differently, or crash down on you when you end up shooting them, or ones that end up upgrading the other enemies around it when you destroy it. Because of the lack of checkpoints, it's pretty difficult once you get into the later waves and you run out of lives and having to start over can be frustrating. Also, the checkpoint system keeps track of your lives, so if you only have one life at a checkpoint, that's all you're going to have when you continue, unless you of course want to start a new game fresh and begin anew. From the technical side of things, I ran no problem as far as crashing or other major glitching. Doling's Invasion is available for the PlayStation 4 for $9.99. It does feature a platinum trophy. The game is also available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PC. Overall, if you enjoy Space Invaders, you're probably going to like Dolan's Invasion. It doesn't really add anything new that you haven't probably seen in other styles of games like this, as well as it's not really a big evolution by any means from the previous Dolan's game that just came out last year. If the game was about half the price that it is, it'd be easier to recommend, but as it sits right now, I'm going to be giving Dolan's Invasion a 6 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.